to be proud of. That's a life you can hang your hat on. Out of all your accomplishments, what are you most proud of? And she said, my family. An icon of the State Fair leaves a lasting legacy, and her family says they hope to carry on her traditions. Live from Victory Park, you're up with Daybreak. Have you been to the State Fair yet? Uh, it's early on, but if you have, you may have noticed one of the fair's biggest icons is no longer there. Sean Giggy talks about her legacy in today's Giggy Bites. It's getting there. As a State Fair concessionaire, Christy Urpillo is glad people are buying what she's selling. What's going on with this machine? But the one thing she wants customers to take with them, she's not selling. The one thing I want people to leave with is free. For half a century, Christie's mom was the queen of the state fair. Okay. Even if you're not a fan of the fair, you've probably heard the name. Fernie brought her funnel cake to the state fair 40 years ago. But now, the chair she once sat in is empty. Fernie died in June. This will be the first state fair without her in more than 50 years. So, I just miss her. We were there for Fernie's final trip to the fair in 2019. <laughs> yeah. She talked about funnel cake and ate some too. I'm honored that you would share this experience with me. Over the years, she created roughly a dozen other award-winning treats, each trophy less important than the last which is what she told another reporter years ago. The reporter said of all your accomplishments, what are you most proud of? And she said, my family. That's why this wall is covered in moments she shared with her family and moments she shared with customers, some well known and some really well known. We're just gonna sit here and eat funnel cake. But you didn't have to be famous to be loved by Fernie, everyone was invited to her table. This is all from customers. Since the fair started last week, people have been leaving flowers, cards, and memories at that table. I never knew that my mother had that, many that much impact on so many people. Christy doesn't expect everyone to leave a gift, but she does hope they will take something. I just want everybody to remember what a wonderful woman she was. And be more like that in this world right now. We need more Fernies in this world. How sweet. That would be at the State Fair of Texas. I'm Sean Gee. So at the beginning of the story, Christy said she wanted to give something away for free, and she was talking about her mom's memory, but she actually did give away 52 free funnel cakes on the first day of the fair in honor of her mom. In the 52 years, they have been selling food at the fair. Another good reminder, though, too, to express to people how you feel now, because yeah. a lot of times you don't know, and you're, you're already gone. Got to take advantage of the moment. Mm -hmm. Now, I hear that Oprah Winfrey watched that story, and she said, Fernie got to meet Sean Giggy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> did you get his autograph? Uh, yeah. <laughs>